Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm on the way to another day at clinicals. For those of you that are new here, my name is Dominique. I'm a fourth semester medical laboratory student. So far, I'm going through my very first rotation, which is in the hematology lab. I do need to go ahead and get going so that I can get there for morning QC. So I will talk to y'all later. So I just got home. As far as clinicals go, like I'm having so much fun. I actually want to say fun. Like I'm learning a lot, I'm doing a lot. And since I had the days go on, things get a lot better. <laughs> Cause that first week was a struggle. You know, now I'm kind of like in a solid routine where I come in, I know what I need to do, when I'm, I know what I need to get done. The days are going by pretty fast. I feel like my body still isn't really adjusted to the schedule yet. <laughs> Cause I'd be so tired. I'd be so tired. I do work still, so I'm working till eight. So it just seems like there's not enough time in the day at this point. But that's okay because that means time is flying by fast. So like it's it's going pretty good. Okay, so if you do watch my vlogs, you might have find my last finals vlog for spring semester. I was so happy to get some new shoes for clinicals. And let me tell you, I took them things right back after like four days. They were not good at all for the hospital laboratory environment. Anyway, I took them back and I got some new ones there and I got these ones instead. Key to a good pair of sneakers is the bottom. <laughs> it's a good outsole, a good midsole, and a good inner sole that will not have you hurting all day. So yes, I exchanged them for these. Putting it here because one thing I'm learning on this journey is that if you don't have a good pair of sneakers, you ain't gonna get far. When I am in the laboratory, even now, I'm standing from the time I walk in the door at 7 a.m. all the way up until I leave around 3.30. So that's like eight hours on my feet all day. And it's a lot of standing and it's a lot of lifting stuff. Like now I'm getting to the point where I'm lifting like really big boxes of reagents and stuff like that and loading them onto the analyzers. So it's like, I need a good supportive shoe. So hopefully, I'm gonna try these out tomorrow. Hopefully they work. You want a treat? You want a treat? Here you fall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here you fall. Here you fall. <laughs> you want a treat? You want a treat? Here you fall. Good girl. Here you fall. Good girl. Yeah, good girl, Papa. <laughs> good girl. Hey y'all, so I just finished another day at clinical. A lot went on today, like off the top of my head, I looked at one slide that had sickle cells, so japanocytes, and a lot of them. And then I also saw a slide with basophilic stippling, which is a sign that there is an issue with the bone marrow, and we would correlate that to potential ineffective erythropoiesis. Honestly, I didn't look at the patient history or anything, so I don't really know <laughs> like what all they actually had going on, but. It was just something I saw. Uh, another thing that we ran into was a patient that had an MCV of 132, which normal range is around 90. My preceptor linked it to hyperglycemia and I was just like, how the heck? And lo and behold, this patient had a glucose level of 837. So I was just like, whoa, <laughs> what? what else? I did get to see a good bit of like immature white blood cells today. So that kind of helped me with having a better idea of how to classify like promyelocytes, uh, metamyelocytes, myelocytes, and things like that, and then blasts and all that. Oh, guess what happened today? So my preceptor detected cancer in a patient. And it wasn't even what they came down to the hospital for, but so we came across a slide on the cell division that had over 60% smudge cells. The protocol is to remake the slide with albumin and then do a manual differential. So after we looked at it under the microscope, like holy crap, it was so many immature blast cells everywhere, like all over the freaking slide. And my preceptor presumed the cells to be lymphoblasts. They also pointed out these weird looking lymphocytes, but they were very small and they had some clumped chromatin 
and it literally looked like pepperoni pizza. Um, they called it like a soccer ball or something, but to me it looked like pizza. Uh, we looked back at the CBC. The patient had a white blood cell count of 99. Yes, 99. Normal is 4 to 10. <laughs> A platelet count of 21 and a lymphocyte count of 92. Very critical values. So this workup and a few other things that we looked at led to the presumption of chronic lymphocytic leukemia and that can get very serious. So the sample um, went up for the pathologist to review and also got sent to flow cytometry to confirm and determine like what type of CLL it was. The whole process of being able to help detect what is actually going on with these patients is so cool to me. Like I feel like I'm leaning towards the work environment of a trauma hospital possibly where I might have more exposure to rarities and cool stuff like what I've been seeing today because um, a lot of what I saw today was definitely not normal stuff <laughs> um, but the full-on like investigation one I think it's amazing I think it's almost it almost gives me like an adrenaline rush but um, I don't know I, like literally our role in healthcare is to find things that no one else can see <laughs> right so to know that I can just look under a microscope and differentiate cells to have an idea of what's going on with this patient is so cool. It's a whole skill that I am proud to be learning. <laughs> as far as other things, I did get to analyze some body fluids this week. I did a pleural sample, then a peritoneal wash, which upon further research, I learned that that is a procedure to detect malignant cells in the abdominal or pelvic areas. So that was kind of cool. Thankfully, the patients were all normal, like all their CBC results were normal. So it's kind of hard to talk about what all I do at clinicals because there's a lot of jargon. <laughs> so I won't bore y'all with more in-depth details of what I'm doing. But if you are interested in knowing what all I learned in medical lab school, I have a series on my channel for semester recaps and I go through in detail literally everything I learned, so check it out when you get a chance. So the first thing, first thing on the list was to pay my graduation fee. I did my graduation application, and the last thing I had to do was pay the fee, so I did that. Next, we have to do car maintenance. I need an oil change, I need some new windshield wipers, and I need some more washer fluid. And then I need more of these things. These things right here are so good. This one is um, Bamboo by Febreze, but they run out so fast. I feel like I only had it in there for like two weeks and it's already out. Um, so I'll have to get some more because they smell so good. And then I also have to get some more groceries because I know I'm out of stuff for lunch. Um, and I, there's some other stuff that I wanted to get like for breakfast because I don't have any more breakfast food I don't think off to do some shopping and get the car done and we'll see where we go after that <laughs> Okay, so I did not pick up the camera once again, but at this point I Just be on the go trying to get my stuff done before I come home by the time you guys watch this vlog I'm only gonna have one more week in hematology at this hospital and then I start my next rotation um that same week basically and my next hospital is like a really long way away so that's why i spent today like kind of going through and making sure i got all my preventative maintenance with my car because i ain't got no time to be having some issues with my car so i had everything checked and also had my oil changed and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's exciting i'm gonna try to have this video edited i do apologize for not having videos up like I had been doing because I was good. I was putting videos out every single week, but I also had time on my hands. Like now with being in clinicals, I literally spend all my time either in the hospital, at work, or sleeping. So I'm probably going to spend the rest of today watching Hulu, eating some popcorn, and knocking out some schoolwork because I have a lot of assignments that I need to get done very soon. Like I said, I'm about to wind down towards the end of this clinical rotation. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to do and I have a final coming up and I'll be starting my next rotation which is in chemistry, clinical chemistry. I wanted to spend some time this weekend getting ahead of that. I do plan to go hiking once the weather looks okay so I will include those clips if I end up going. <laughs> Don't know when this vlog is going to be up, hopefully soon, but I do thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing because we are up to 600 subscribers the last time I looked and that is amazing I didn't know that many people could find my videos to be honest but I appreciate it thank you guys for subscribing thank you all for the support thank you all for all the love and all the likes on the videos and 
everything. I did change my Instagram page because before it was LaRae's Lab, but I changed it. So if you want to find me on Instagram to reach out to me, it is at Dami LaRae. So at D O M I L A R A E. Like I said, I'll include the hiking if I do end up going, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to be going. So if this is the end, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory school.